Hi, it's Dwyer, gamblersadvisory.com, DwyerVIP.com. Look us up in the sports section on Roku. We're there. Dwyer Boxing and Sports News. Remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. I've posted a link to the weigh-in for today's fight between Saul Alvarez and Erislandi Lara. Right now, in the past, I have looked at some Saul Alvarez weigh-ins, and he's looked really drained, not properly prepared for the weight class in fights. A um, long time ago, I talked about how he looked very drained for the weigh-in before his fight against Floyd Mayweather. Right? Here... Let me say, Canelo looked good to me at this weigh-in. His body looks like it's handled the 155-pound weight limit in this fight. Keep in mind, for Mayweather, the weight limit was 152. It was three pounds lighter, and those last few pounds are the hardest to lose. Right? Lara also looked good. I didn't have any concerns looking at the weigh-in about the fitness of either guy. But, understand, the weight limit was 155. Both guys weighed in at 155. Right? What I've found is that often guys who are in shape and ready for fights will come in weighing at least a few ounces less than the contracted weight. Here, understand both guys barely made weight, right? Barely. Let me say, though, the way in that um, on the card that really piqued my interest involves underdog Johan Perez. He's a plus 120 underdog, and he's fighting Mauricio Herrera. Right now, understand Herrera is a lot of things. He's a technician. He does a lot of things well, but he's not a puncher. Understand that Johan Perez, in my opinion at least, moves better than Herrera and throws better combinations. Well, what leapt out at me at their way in, and I'll agree Perez looked a bit drained, was the height gap between the two guys. Perez actually looked much taller than Mauricio Herrera, right? Understand, Perez knows how to use length. He'll be able to leverage some of his height advantage into staying away and hiding behind a jab versus Herrera. The gambler's looking for a bargain, looking for a live underdog. Someone who would pay out better than even money odds. I encourage you to take a look at Johan Perez. Right? Understand, the best footage I've seen of a fighter against Floyd Mayweather is the sparring footage between Paul Spatafora, the Pittsburgh kid, a name you need to remember, and Floyd. Right? If you look in my favorites, you'll be able to find that sparring footage, right? Spatafor is a southpaw. He knows how to play angles. He lands straight lefts to Mayweather's body with regularity. Let's just say he looks a lot better than Robert Guerrero did against Mayweather. We'll understand Spatafor, who has had some personal problems that have derailed his career somewhat, was unbeaten. He was unbeaten. And he was challenging names like Rocky Marciano in terms of unbeaten streaks when he ran into Johan Perez. And understand by Spatafora's own admission and look in the favorites on my channel page, I have his post-fight interview posted. By Spatafora's own admission, the fight was close and he may have lost it. Right, understand, Perez has beaten high-level opposition. I consider Spatafora to be high-level. Right, I also consider Carmage 
to be more of a pressure fighter. The guy who Robert Guerrero just beat, Johan Perez beat earlier and looked better than Guerrero in doing it. I consider Carmagee to be more of a pressure fighter, more high volume, more of a problem for Perez's fight style than Mauricio Herrera. I think the crowd, the gambling public has pushed the line to what it is, has made Herrera the favorite because of the lingering feeling that Herrera beat Danny Garcia. At a minimum, Herrera gave Danny Garcia a better fight than most of the people Garcia has fought in the past, including Lucas Matisse. Right? So, when you see the guys at the weigh-in and you realize that Johan Perez, a very tough opponent, the underdog in the Las Vegas sportsbooks right now, is actually bigger than Mauricio Herrera, right? He's bigger and he knows how to use length. I believe that's worth noting. That's my big takeaway from the weigh-in. Good luck on the fight. For those who don't know, I'm taking Lara over Canelo. I'll hedge it with Canelo by knockout. The odds allow it. And I like underdog Johan Perez. In other words, I'm taking two underdogs on this one card. I like underdog Johan Perez at plus 120. Frankly, I would take Perez if it were even money. I like Johan Perez, an underrated fighter in my opinion, over Mauricio Herrera. Good luck. I hope you cash some winning tickets. Thanks for stopping by.